Future societies could look very different, where sustainability would be a worry of the past. The last century was dominated by materials like steel and concrete, which allowed us to build colossal skyscrapers and gigantic cities. But the way we've been producing it has come at a price, a big one. All this convenience has led to serious environmental degradation. But here's the good news, it doesn't have to be this way. Today, we're diving into some amazing materials and fuels that could turn things around. Let's get right to it. Get ready to have your minds blown because we're kicking things off with mushrooms. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Mushrooms? Those funky little things you find growing on logs in the woods, how can those possibly save the world? Well, buckle up, Buttercup, because mushrooms are way more versatile than you think. You see, hidden inside those humble fungi is a material called mycelium. It's basically this incredible natural network of fibers that acts like a kind of glue holding everything together. And get this, it's strong, like really strong. And the best part, it's totally biodegradable. No more filling up landfills for centuries with stuff that'll never decompose. Now, you might be wondering what we can actually do with this magical mycelium. Well, a biodesigner named Bob Hendricks designed a coffin completely made out of mycelium. It's called the Living Cocoon, and it's designed to help our bodies return to the Earth naturally after we die. How cool is that? And Bob's not the only one harnessing the power of mycelium. Companies are already using it to create packaging materials that are 100% biodegradable. Imagine a world where you can throw your packaging in the compost bin when you're done with it. All right, let's move on to something a little more familiar. Plants. Now, I know what you're thinking. Plants? We've been using those forever. What's so special about them? And you're right, we've been using plants as material for centuries. From the cotton in our clothes to the wood in our furniture, plants have always been there for us. But what if I told you we've only just scratched the surface of what plants can do? Forget your standard cotton t-shirts and wooden chairs for a second, and imagine a world where we can replace plastic bottles with plants. That's right, we're talking about bioplastics. Materials made from plant-based sources like corn and sugarcane. And the best part? They look and function just like the plastic we're used to, but with one major difference, they're biodegradable. No more plastic pollution clogging up our oceans and harming wildlife. One of the most promising bioplastics out there is called polylactic acid, or PLA for short. It's made from fermented plant starch, and it's already being used to make everything from food containers and packaging to medical implants. Scientists and engineers are constantly developing new and innovative bioplastics that are stronger, more durable and even more eco-friendly. OK, get ready for this next one, because it's a real head-scratcher. We're talking about shrimp. Yes, you heard me right. Those little crustaceans we love to dip in cocktail sauce are about to revolutionise the world of materials science. It all started with a brilliant Australian student named Angelina Aurora. She was looking for a way to create a sustainable alternative to plastic, and she stumbled upon a fascinating material found in, you guessed it, shrimp shells. It's called chitin and it's basically a natural polymer that's super strong and durable. Angelina combined chitin from shrimp shells with a substance called fibroin, which is found in silk and voila. She created a completely biodegradable and even compostable bioplastic. This stuff has the potential to replace traditional plastics in everything from food packaging to medical devices. Another student, Carlos Alberto Flores from Mexico, combined chitosin, a derivative of chitin, with ceramics, to create medical prosthetics that are compatible with the human body. We're talking about things like knee replacements and bone grafts that are less likely to be rejected by the body. Let's be honest, wood gets a bad rap sometimes. It's often seen as this old-fashioned material that belongs in log cabins and grandfather clocks, not in the cutting-edge world of modern construction. But what if I told you that wood is actually the building material of the future? Think about it. Wood is renewable, it's strong, it's lightweight, and it's an excellent insulator. Plus, it just looks good, you know? There's a reason why we've been building with wood for thousands of years. It works. But here's the thing. We haven't even come close to unlocking wood's full potential. Enter cross-laminated timber. 
or CLT for short. It's like the superhero version of regular wood. Basically, you take layers of wood and glue them together with the grain running in alternating directions. This creates these massive, super-strong panels that are lighter than concrete and can be used to build incredibly tall structures. We're talking skyscrapers made entirely out of wood. As long as we're responsibly managing our forests and planting new trees, we can keep on building with CLT without harming the environment. Gap 3S. Now let's delve into some cutting-edge materials that are revolutionizing the way we think about sustainability and innovation. First up, bacterial cellulose. This fascinating material is already making waves in textiles and medical applications like wound dressings. It's produced by bacteria and is incredibly strong, flexible and biodegradable. Imagine clothes that are not only stylish but also eco-friendly and durable. Next, we have spider silk proteins. Companies like Bolt Threads are developing synthetic versions of this natural wonder. Spider silk is known for its incredible strength and elasticity, making it perfect for textiles and performance gear. Imagine having a jacket that's as tough as steel but as light as a feather. Moving on, atmospheric carbon materials are changing the game in construction. Cement and concrete made from captured CO2 are already in early stage adoption, offering a sustainable alternative to traditional building materials. These innovations can significantly reduce the carbon footprint of the construction industry. Another exciting development is self-healing biopolymers. Researchers are making strides in creating materials that can repair themselves when damaged. Prototypes exist for self-repairing coatings and materials, which could drastically extend the lifespan of various products and structures. Graphene-based biocomposites are also emerging as practical applications in energy storage and lightweight, durable materials. Graphene's unique properties make it an excellent candidate for creating super-strong, lightweight composites that could revolutionize everything from batteries to aerospace engineering. Lastly, lab-grown leather and wood are making sustainable alternatives to traditional materials more accessible. Companies like Modern Meadow are scaling production of bioengineered leather, while lab-grown wood offers a renewable option for furniture and construction without the need for deforestation. These advanced materials are not just futuristic concepts, they're becoming a reality, paving the way for a more sustainable and innovative world. But this all needs energy. For decades, we've been relying on fossil fuels to power our cars, our homes and our lives. Biofuels have been a popular alternative, but they come with their own set of challenges, including land use and emissions. Synthetic e-fuels, created by combining captured CO2 with hydrogen, offer another futuristic fuel option. These e-fuels can be used in existing internal combustion engines, making them a versatile and sustainable alternative. Another exciting development is ammonia, which can be used as a carbon-free fuel for shipping and power generation. Ammonia can be produced using renewable energy and emits only nitrogen and water when burned. Green hydrogen, produced via electrolysis using renewable energy, emits only water vapour when used. It's clean, versatile and scalable for vehicles, heating and industry. These advancements, alongside biofuels, are crucial in the fight against climate change. Fusion energy, the process that powers the sun, has the potential to provide nearly limitless, clean energy. While we're not 100% there yet, the potential is game-changing. These innovative technologies are constantly evolving to create a more sustainable, energy-efficient future. Which brings us to renewable energy, the true superheroes of the future. They are in a league of their own when it comes to sustainability. Naturally replenished, meaning we can't use them up. From solar to wind to hydroelectric. The sun will always shine, the wind will always blow and water will always flow downhill. Then there is geothermal. Did you know the Earth's heat itself can provide a constant and reliable power source? Geothermal plants are a unique and valuable part of our renewable energy mix. Studies estimate that renewable energy could easily meet 100% of global energy needs. From photovoltaic PV to thermal systems, solar alone could provide thousands of times current energy demand. So, there you have it folks. Some incredible materials and fuels that have the potential to revolutionize the way we live, build and power our world. 
From mushroom coffins and shrimp shell plastics to wooden skyscrapers and hydrogen-powered buses, the future is looking brighter and greener. But here's the truth. Even with all these incredible advancements in technology, the best thing we can do for our planet is to slow down, stop and even reverse our ever-increasing consumption of energy and natural resources. We've got to shift our mindset from one of endless growth to one of sustainability and balance. As always, thanks for joining me on this journey into the future of materials and fuels. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content.